Queen of Bingo is back. And also, one of our most regular contributors to the game of Real or No Real. Gemma Kearney loves avant-garde fashion so much, she once went to an East London party wearing only the mats from a game of Twister, <laughs> gathered with a Jean-Paul Gaultier belt. That was No Real, I think. Hi, Gemma. Hello. Oh, wow, look at you. Oh, I'm ready. What's on your head, please? Uh, just a 10-year-old cagoule, apparently, <laughs> that Which, someone found in a drawer. Is that a cagoule? Uh, fashioned into a hat. Yes. And now Chris is wearing a yellow one as well. <laughs> turban. <laughs> it is a turban. It's brilliant. But head you, wrap. But here's the thing, Gemma, because you have to, you obviously um, put things on your head a lot and, and yeah. are able to just go whoomp and make them look really good. <laughs> Chris is it's awful. What is that on your head? It's a hat, isn't it? <laughs> You might notice the difference between yours and, and Gemma's, please, there. Same. It's not the same. It's a fashionable hat. Extra protection today for anyone of Bingo I'd notice. Everyone going anywhere nice after this, yeah, are they? Yeah, I just, I didn't fancy getting soaked today because last time I got soaked, I posted an Instagram picture a bit later on and loads of people were like, oh, you're in the same outfit that you got spat all over in. And I was mm. like, yeah, it's pretty gross. How... On a scale of one to ten, how ming are the sheets in here now? We, I'm going to get I'm everything gonna, is disgusting. I'm going to sort just had it. A, a really bitty soup as well, so I feel like <laughs> I feel like I've still got bits in my mouth. I don't think this is. Um, <laughs> I'm just feeling generally unhygienic about this today. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, defo. Um, go to the Radio One website now, bbc.co.uk <laughs> slash Radio One, just to see Chris's ridiculous cagoule hat. Right, great, great, real good. Beautiful. BBC.co.uk slash Radio 1. On your computer. You can watch it on your phone. It's happening now. Look, you yes. can see us. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. Yes! Yes, Gemma! Yes! Yes. I'm really, I'm really enjoying you in the mornings, by the way. Thanks. Really I'm good. having a lovely time. That's good. Um, does anyone know who Camilla Batmangeli is? What? Oh, someone at home will know. Camilla Batmangeli, she's like an amazing, she runs a charity, but she wears pieces, head pieces very similar to yours, yeah. Chris. Mm. Yeah. Worth Google imaging in. I'm, uh, I'm having to do this with uh, my T-shirt over my nose because the smells are really getting to me today. Sorry. The smell of what? No, not like not you two, just uh, the smell of the sheets, I think it is. <laughs> oh, great. <sighs> All right. Okay, uh, so it was... It was Aggers on Tuesday. He was ace. I know. I but, can't believe that. But Gemma, you know, you know that you're one of our faves. You know I'm that. So you're excited. the queen. I'm ready. Are you ready? Yeah. There's Are a ready, lot Chris? of rustling going on. <laughs> Are you wearing a bin bag as well? I'm trying. Oh, no, no. Gemma is, yeah. yeah. Gemma mm -hmm. is. But she would go to a party like that. Probably, actually. Yeah. Festival would be quite a good festival. Where? Hmm. <laughs> like you can, I'm quite jealous that you can just literally pick up anything and go, yeah, I could do something with that. I mean, Cheers. to be fair, I do look pretty ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> but this could easily be fashion, couldn't it? Yeah, I mean, I like the fact that this is transparent, so you could wear anything underneath, but it would still be waterproof. Or nothing. Or nothing. It's yeah. still clothes. Uh, do you like Chris's Hillary DeVay jumper? I, I, I'm a bit perplexed. It's, this, is, this whole thing has gotten more and more avant-garde now, just even visually. You're wearing a monkey suit on the bottom half and a Hillary DeVay jumper on the top. Yeah. You have to be watching this online. If you're yeah. listening, you have to go online right now. It's the weirdest thing that I've seen <laughs> on Bingo visually for a while, what they're wearing. Okay, let's get some water in our mouths. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Thursday's Bingo is on. First, we go over to Five Live. And a presenter called Mark Chapman with some information about Wayne Rooney, apparently. Well, coming back to Wayne Rooney here, we are led to believe that his favourite position is up top, you know, with others around him. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Small, slow mm. spurt from Kearney. Mm. Stark's fine. Mm. His favourite position is up top. Uh, now to today's Radio 1 breakfast show. Ready? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I did think Phil from Dan and Phil sounded a little distracted this morning. I don't know if anyone else noticed it. Fallout boy are there. Of course. The 16-year-old boy within me is excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Thanks, Callum, for sending that one. The 16-year-old boy within me. And, okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gemma, <laughs> what are you doing? Why is that noise? Bashing her hat away against the. the right. Mm. Don't bash your hat. <laughs> Ready? Now, who remembers this surprising moment from May's European Athletics Championships? Winding up for a big release. There's a squat fall. Oh! Came up ah! to... <laughs> we didn't even get to the end. Ah! Oh, that was good. My protection didn't work. <laughs> Winding up for a big release. There's a squat fall. Oh! <laughs> Came out too early. <laughs> <laughs> so immature. So is. Are you ready for your next clip? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go over to Flog It. Love that. And it's amazing what members of the public will show the antiques experts these days. Nikki, uh, it's fair to say that my eyes popped out of my head. Uh, when, you, when you opened your little box in the queue. <laughs> Just lots of slow splurting yeah, today. Yeah, special box. Yeah. My eyes popped out <laughs> of my head. Mm. And over to Celebrity MasterChef next. And got your waters there? Mm -hmm. It sounds like Janet has some skills you wouldn't expect a celebrity to have necessarily. As yet, it's only Janet and Katie that have identified the meat as duck. Janet knows how to burn a duck, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, <come> on. <laughs> 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 works on a headpiece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it feels so weird to spit in Hillary to face face, so it's not very nice. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Do that. Just in case you're turning radio on, that's not actually happening. She's on a jumper. Yes. She's on a jumper. Yes. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Ready. Here we go. Love this from the golf. Ken Brown used to soak his balls in hot water for a good hour before <laughs> playing cold weather. <laughs> it's a classic. Oh, <laughs> again, again, again. Right one. Ken Brown. <laughs> That's one of your faves, Chris, isn't it? I love that one. Ken Brown used to soak his balls in hot water for a good hour before <laughs> playing cold weather. <laughs> I like the people clapping in the background. <laughs> as, if, as if they're applauding what you're saying. Gets better every time. <laughs> Hello, if you're watching for the first time, Robin's watching. She's just got her GCSE results. Now relaxing by watching Indian Bingo live for the first time. It's brilliant to have Gemma, Gemma back, says Dan. Okay, to Newsbeat next. Are you ready? Yeah. Unexpected revelation on today's Newsbeat. And I happen to be a hardcore Larry ship at my dad. <laughs> Straight in Kenny's face. <laughs> no, response, no response from Kenny. <laughs> holding strong you were you did well and i happen to be a hardcore larry ship at myself <laughs> okay next over to hollywood me and i like the way the narrator on this show lets you in on those little details that you you, you may have missed i can get like a really good posh laminate i'll make my decision once i've seen it while ed worries about how he's going to give martin wood <laughs> she's, so, she's so serious. I love a serious voiceover. Ed worries about how he's going to give Martin wood. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> and we're on. Oh. Took a while. Nice. Slow burner, this one, isn't it? Mm. Good though, I like it. I like it. Quite relaxed. Mm. Mm. Gentle game. <laughs> <laughs> after after Tuesdays, I think that's necessary. Mm. A classic from Radio 4 now. And this politician here seems to know the Home Secretary rather well. Do you think that Nick Clegg needs to perhaps rethink his decision to block this legislation? Y yes, I do. Um, the Home Secretary has made it clear that she wants it. <laughs> 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 How does one make it clear? <laughs> the Home Secretary has made it clear that she wants it. Okay. I, I need some tips from the Home Secretary. <laughs> <laughs> <Come> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I knew this would happen. <laughs> this happens every time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, thing eight. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Over to two Scottish chefs now on BBC <sighs> Breakfast. And they seem to really enjoy their time together in the kitchen. We follow each other's instructions. <laughs> he's yeah. very good at massaging, though. Yeah, mas- he's uh, masseusing my pork. <laughs> oh, so he's good. He likes <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, Okay, more water. (laughs) (laughs) Over to the one extra breakfast show now. And the prizes have got better. They sound great these days. But you have won and you get to enjoy all the VIP-ness. <laughs> oh, <that's gross. laughs> Very important. <laughs> Yasmin Evans there enjoying the perks of the new one extra breakfast show. But you have won and you get to enjoy all the VIP ness. <laughs> wow. Amazing! Okay. I want that oh, clip wow. forever. <laughs> Yes, yes, Okay, let's go over to BBC Bristol. And this next one came from our listener, Sean, who says he's lived in Bristol all his life, but had no idea this sort of thing went on in his home city. The grand goat flanging, which takes place... <laughs> right, this is going <laughs> to... What is goat flanging? I don't know. Right, let's all try and get through this together, okay? As a public service, we need to at least find out what goat flanging is. I think, I think is. we will. I think we will during the course of the clip. <laughs> let's all just try and get through it together. Ready? Here we go. Try and hold your water. This is going to be difficult. The grand goat flanging, which takes place in Never Stowey, last Monday of August. The goat flangers dress in furry goat capes and sport goatee beards as they dance around the nanny and perform the time-honoured practice of kicking up the billy. (laughs) (laughs) What does it all mean? What does it all mean? The grand goat flanging. (laughs) Hello, if you're in Bristol. I I lived in Bristol for two years and never saw that. (laughs) The goat flangers dress in furry goat capes. Whatever, you so did. I didn't know. You were just drunk. Well, mm. (laughs) All right, just two more. <laughs> Here's a recent favourite from Come Dine With Me. <laughs> Sorry, I lost it. It's going to be good. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what do you mean, I don't know? I don't know what's happened. Sorry. <laughs> it's not normally me that... So oh, I've no. lost it, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> do you want to sit here for No. <laughs> okay. A recent favourite from Come Dime With Me. <laughs> you know when you've got guests over, mm. and this happens. If the flaps are securely closed. Not even finished. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and get through this. <laughs> oh, Scott, what's wrong, man? <laughs> Scott has lost it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. I'm just going to play the clip. Just put water in your mouth. Do okay. I need to get another DJ? No, just play, just put, play the game. Go on. Okay. Okay, ready? Ready. Um, you could end up with a bit of beef hanging out. <laughs> I didn't even play it from the right place. It's just <laughs> shambles. Right, again, please. <laughs> oh, Hardly any water left. A little bit more. Ready? If the flaps are securely closed, um, you could end up with a bit of beef hanging out. That's what's supposed to happen. And finally, a classic from the badminton horse trials. (laughs) What? It's not the one, it's not the Rihanna one. Is it not? No. This is Badminton Horse Trials. It's going to be a horse, though, isn't it? And an unexpected... <laughs> it's going to be a horse, yeah. 
That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and an unexpected decision here from this jockey. I would like to give him the benefit of the doubt here, I have to say. The horse over jumps, it hits the takeoff of the second bank. He decided to pull the horse off. <laughs> right, that's it. Done. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. So weird. <laughs> so weird. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>